All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology forecast for Tuesday, April 18th, 2017. So the moon's still in Sagittarius today uh, from yesterday, perhaps feeling a bit open-minded can be a theme of the day or maybe even feeling a bit adventurous. Um, if you do feel like maybe going for a walk, getting some fresh air, um, things like that, very good there for the emotional body. Uh, but if it's more internal, maybe reading a philosophy book or a spiritual book or just discussing philosophy, discussing spirituality and like the meaning of life, you know, all these top down perspectives um, is what Sagittarius is all about. So uh, yes, doing these activities that are more open minded, and adventurous can help us feel nice and emotionally rooted. Um, we do have the sun in Pisces still, of course. So as it has been a very intuitive time, uh, very good for listening to inner guidance and again, surrendering along that life path. And these two energies are very different from each other. So we are in the third quarter phase which uh, is the phase of integration. We've got Pisces, which is more about water, letting go, detaching, surrendering. Then we've got Sagittarius, which is more of wanting to understand, you know, the bigger picture and have a bit of fire and passion and spirit in our life. So seeing how you can merge these two, how can you implement both the intuitive and the spirited? in your life. And I think that'll be a great way of working with the day. Um, not a whole lot going on astrologically. We do have a lunar T-square going on. It's been the square between Pluto and Jupiter that has been going on since late last year. So if you have been feeling like your whole perspective of your life has been changing, um, this could be another day where that is shifting or uh, your worldview in general, right? So this has been helping us essentially with Pluto shed any old skin and any old patterns that are preventing us from making the changes we want to see in our life and pursuing those possibilities that we do see for ourselves in our life. So a very good day, therefore, seeing if there are any fears, breaking any past patterns with the moon going over Pluto, and then changing those perspectives, changing those belief systems. All right, so let's go and look at this in more detail when we return. All right, so there is the moon in Sagittarius going over Pluto here today. So yes, yeah, Sagittarius is all about that free range. You know, it's a centaur. It's the bottom half is the horse representing the side of ourselves that yes, we are, ha you know, we are spiritual beings or spiritual animals, you could say. And this is merging both the physical with the spiritual, right? The bottom half being the horse is the free spirited side of our physicality. And then the top half of, of course, the human, the rational, the spiritual, and uh, understanding more about life. So both the free-spirited and thinking big, thinking philosophically, right, is a great way of working with Sagittarius, whatever that might mean for you personally. Now, Pluto here has been transforming, you know, the Sagittarius energy for the past many years. So um, our belief systems have already been changing. Our life path has already been, been changing. We've been stripping away a lot of fears that have been preventing us from having more freedom in our life. So it is another day of that with the moon activating this. And again, as the moon representing the emotional body, uh, I think it is a really good day for seeing if there are any fears, emotional past patterns, karmic patterns, you could say as well, that do arrive today. And again, you can check your weekly to see which house Pluto is transiting to give you a more specific look at which area this is involved with. But for all of us, generally, this transformation of our spirit for life, of essentially that worldview that once changes, we do have more adventurousness and open-mindedness. So very good day for that type of transformation, but listening, listening to what comes up, seeing what patterns come up, facing those fears, accepting those fears, then they no longer have that control over us. They can flow through us and we can, you know, make the inner changes that we want to see because of course everything does change from within first. So anyways, that Sagittarius is uh, squaring up to this uh, third quarter phase of the lunar cycle with the sun and Mercury, very close still to Uranus in Pisces. So Pisces is, as I've been saying for the past like month and a half or longer, because we've had a very long transit of Pisces 
Mars was there before these fast movers got there. So it's really been dragging this out. We are finishing it up, though. A bit later in the week, the sun is going to be going into Aries. We do have Mercury finishing up some business in Pisces. But I think with the sun shifting into Aries later in the week, there is going to be this shift to our vigor, our life force, our prana, our energy. Uh, but at least still right now, very good for finishing up this development of our spiritual beingness, right? The peace, the tranquility that comes from letting go and surrendering, and even the intuition that arises through all of this. So still a great time to go within. And again, how can you merge the spiritual internal with the fiery external? the intuitive, the Sagittarius, the bigger picture of life. And um, yeah, that's essentially the gist of the day. Along with that T-square, which um, is the Pluto energy, as I was saying, this transformation of our belief systems. But this has been emphasized since late last year with Pluto squaring up to Jupiter. All right, so with the moon squaring up to Jupiter from that placement with Pluto, uh, there is particularly this change to these this worldview, right? These possibilities and potentials in our life. So changing what's possible, understanding that what we believe is possible can manifest, but what we don't believe is possible will not manifest. We will limit, we, we can limit ourselves from what's possible based on our belief systems. You know, if you're like, I don't know, going for a walk, walking down the street, and um, you start to think of like roses or, or just flowers in general. All of a sudden you see a bunch of flowers and there's plenty of opportunity to stop and smell the roses or to pick a flower or whatever it is, right? But if we don't, if we're not thinking about flowers, we're not thinking about anything like that, we won't see them, right? So that's, uh, that's essentially what Jupiter represents is the part of ourselves that does believe something is possible, does believe something exists, and merely because of that, we bring our awareness to that and then we see it. And that's why Jupiter is often represented as luck because once we change that perspective, then we have those opportunities. We see those things that we wouldn't have seen otherwise and that could be very lucky seemingly. Um, so changing the perspective will help bring in more into your life. But again, I think this is more internal with the moon. And I think it's about changing our own personal worldview, our own personal life view of our own life. And um, through that perspective, just feeling these changes. And this is contributing to a much larger perspective, as I was saying, for the year, because it has been going on since um, late last year. All right. So, um, yes, very good day for that. Also good for just balance and moderation, I do want to say, because the moon will be squaring up to Jupiter, if you are feeling a bit of a pendulum swing with um, over-optimism and then under-optimism, again, knowing possibilities are there, but it does take the work. It does take the inner work that I've been talking about, facing and accepting those fears. Um, in the second half of the day, if you do feel a bit of the moon square Uranus energy, it's going to sometimes feel a bit erratic or uneasy or nervous, hard to relax sometimes. Um, so with this kind of uh, remedy, I think anything that can obviously help you relax, you know, Uranus has been in Pisces. So it's been about, you know, again, with that intuitive energy, letting go, and anything you can do to help you let go, help you relax, can help balance out that energy. But um, listen to that, as I always say, with Uranus. Uranus is an aspect of our higher self. So if there is some intuition or something in the second half of the day that's like, oh, I got to break out of this. I got to free myself. I got to make some changes. Yes, listen to that. But again, in Pisces, this is about you know doing so in such a way that it is about going with the flow going with the divine timing of things and sort of rushing it or rashing it, you know, because squaring Uranus, we can be rash, we can be impulsive. And so we do want to detach and through that, find the inner freedom that does arise. All right. But um, today, the strongest energy is the moon over Pluto. Transformation, emotional transformation, past transformation, not major. This happens once a month, but a very good day for this. Shedding this old skin, breaking these old patterns, accepting these fears. And I think a lot of this does have to do with the belief systems, the possibilities. And through that, seeing that our life path has been changing for the past many years and it's all been happening from within. And this is just another shift, another internal shift that can help us continue to really be attuned to our life path because we're never off of our path, but we can be consciously off of it. And so now this can, is another step to help us attune to it and again, see these things which are expanding in our lives. All right, so I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you again for all of your support, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.